contestant number one. I believe that some... Hi there. TTT News, online and fully interactive. Follow us on social media at TTT Live Online. At TTT, our journalists are on the ground seeking the facts and reporting on the people, events and issues that affect your life. We have Trinidad and Tobago covered. From Cedrus to Charlottesville, Crown Point to Maruga, our news reaches further on any smart device. TTT News, first at 6.30pm. Follow us on social media at TTT Live Online. And for the latest updates, log on to www.ttt.live. TDT News, committed, committed accurate, accurate, relevant. TDT News, nightly at 6.30. Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show, 18 minutes after 6 o'clock. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. We're chatting with the Executive Director of the Emancipation Support Committee about the significance of celebrating emancipation. Good morning to you, Zakia Uzuma Wadada. <laughs> Good morning, Rockers. Good morning to the audience. How are you this morning? morning? to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Well, <laughs> as, be as best as can be, with the as expected in the circumstances. I think I'm going, and I'm saying, I keep saying, I hope the village and I and the celebrations are going in the same direction. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope so, because I know that you guys are preparing yes. the Emancipation <laughs> Village. Uh, how have things been coming along so far? It's been hectic, Rockers. You know, it's something that we have not done for two years. And we are doing it with very limited resources. And I really want to use this moment. My heart is so full of appreciation to all those persons, every single person who has come together in spite of the limitation of the resources, who believe that this, believe in their celebration so much and have been made so much sacrifices to make it a resilience. The staff, all the service providers, our entrepreneurs, our artists, you know, all those who have been encouraged us, the media, I want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, the divine energies of life, you know, to the, to the um, you know, to our wishes and our ancestors, that we are able to reach this point. You know, that's really how I feel at this moment, Rokas. 
And we give thanks for that, for your ability to see that, that despite whatever else you may be going through, that it is a moment to give thanks. Uh, tell me oh, why, you think, why you think all of, these, all of these forces, all these energies combined to make this moment happen, regardless of whatever trials and tribulations you might have. Why do you think all these energies come, come together to make this happen? Yeah, because we are standing on the shoulders of ancestors who fought really hard you know, to make this happen. And I'm going to use a little example, you know, my granddaughter has been helping us in the Savannah. She's just 14 years old and she stayed out with me until two o'clock this morning. And then, so I told her, you know, we have to leave home at seven right after my interview. So when I got to wake up, she said, oh gosh, I think I'm going to come by myself or whatever. And then she just woke up and she said, no, I think I'm going to come with you. I said, yes, that's the warrior spirit. That's what it is all about, you know, for us to remember the struggles that our ancestors have been through. And they feel good that to know that after 184 years, we continue to remember their struggle. We continue to understand that without them and their struggle, we will not be here today. We would not, and we understand that we still need them as we complete this process of emancipation. Definitely. I want to get into some details about the actual village itself. I understand that uh, you guys, it's open from 10 a.m., but from... That's right. But is it from 3 p.m. you have to pay to get in? Yes, you do. You have to, uh, you have to make a contribution of $30. That's not paying. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. So tell me some of the things right. that, that, of course, <laughs> if somebody who's, who's never been to the village before... Uh, they, they haven't yes. been, you know, for the last two years. They heard about it right here on TTT, and they said, you know what, now that it's yes. back, I want to go. What can they expect to get when they, when they enter that village? Well, you know, we have worked with our um, decor artist, Anne-Marie Evans, to create an ambience that we think would be fun, pleasing. You know, we've had to reuse a lot of the um, the items that we've had before, but we've created a beautiful atmosphere. You know, when they get there, they're going to see an amazing display of products by our entrepreneurs. And, you know, and they have come back with this verb that, you know, I have been here for two years, so when they see me, I have to be looking good, you know, and the way that they have the effort that they're making to make their boots look so beautiful. You know, we're going to have entertainment all day this morning. When you, if you came this morning, you'll be welcomed by Muko Jumbies and drummers, you know, and, you know, we really want people when they come to the village as they enter that gate to feel that sense of pride. You know, to feel that sense, to some, some good feeling, you know, because we know we have a lot of challenges within the society, but that's why moments are like these are important, you know, to help our endorphins to, you know, to, to, to live and for us to feel good. And that is what they expect, you know, we want you to come support our entrepreneurs, bring your children. We're going to have prepare in the village every day. You know, we are going to have um, still walking, you know, bring the children, come into this space. There's education, you know, we have those beautiful large books that tell stories of our, you know, ancestors and some of those uh, Africans of whom we are very proud, both from Trinidad and Tobago, from the continent. We have a beautiful, art, a beautiful exhibition at our uh, Emancipation Support Committee booth. Don't talk about the food. You know, girls, I love your food. You mm -hmm. can always get, you know, some interesting, a wide range of food, of course, all African-themed foods. So that's what's happening at the village, you know? And that's just, that's, just some of the, that's just some of the initial things that we can encounter as you, as you enter and you're able to walk around and see those yes. things, right? Now, I, yes, do, yes. I do know that that tomorrow you are having a very interesting roundtable discussion. Tell me a little bit about that. That's right. Yes, well, you know, the Trade Symposium has been one of the flagship events of the festival for years. And we, at this event, we try to take, we say we want to reinvent the triangle. That triangle of trade was used to enslave us. We want to use that triangle of trade now to bring, you know, economic benefit 
to the people of the continent and the people of the Caribbean. So we have the, had this discussion over the years with um, business persons, very high profile persons as well on the continent of Africa, having discussions with top business people in Trinidad and Tobago, including the government every year to discuss how we can perhaps develop those trade linkages that can be beneficial to both at the continent and of course us here in the Caribbean and we also do engage North America as well. Nice and then I want to get across now to the tours because I see you guys are having yes. tours every day that the village is open. Where are these tours going to? Yes. Right so we are having heritage tours. One to my favorite place the Yoruba village and of course you know we have a wonderful Yoruba village monument now display. Um, we, I think we had to cancel two of the tours that were far out because of some of the challenges that they've been having with the road but then we would be doing the western tour down to um, Dago Martin where we go up to Fort George. We had, you know there are many Sierra Leone road and some other space special spaces in the in Dago Martin in the western an area. So we have the two tours, one in Port of Spain, one in the West. And we want to encourage our, you know, nationals. And these tours became part of our Come Home for Emancipation campaign because, you know, we started to reach out to people. Come on, after two years, all of all diaspora Chinese, come home for emancipation. Come and, you know, enjoy the good vibes with us. And all those who consider Africa their home, this is an opportunity to come and join with us. And therefore, the tours became part of that whole process. But we think it's an excellent idea and we will continue it because it also is an opportunity for children our parents to bring our children and many people in Trinidad and Tobago who are not aware of the heritage, African heritage sites in Trinidad and Tobago. It's a beautiful way to learn your history as well, of course. Indeed, and, indeed. You know, speaking of beautiful ways to learn your history, you have some fantastic concerts lined up as well, starting oh, things off tonight yes, with yes, Dr. David yes. Michael Rudder. Indeed, yes. You know, we really thought it was so beautiful to start this you know and it was so ironic but in that David was also being celebrated regionally as well you know so we speak we, even before that happened we had decided David is the person we want to celebrate as we return to the emancipation village so this evening we are going to say Shikamu David brother and we other artists you know we have Aaron Duncan you have um Devon Seals Empress Aja and they will be coming and others singing their praises and Chuck Gordon, you know, actually some of these younger ones giving, um, singing um, David's song and give and presenting him. We come to a surprise. You might see David on the stage, you know. <laughs> and of course, at this event, we are going to also give on to David our highest award, which is the Henry Sylvester Award. You know, we have this Henry Sylvester Award because this is a Trinidadian who was the first to host a Pan-African conference in 1900, and we continue to remember him through this award. You know, then, of course, we have rhythms of African drums and dancing in the village every day. Yeah. And then on tomorrow, we are going to be in paying tribute to our dear brother, Lutalo Masimba, brother resistance, remembering his music. And yep. then in the night, we have our unity reggae concert. You want nice. me to go <laughs> And I know we, we also Sunday, have... We also have Kambule yes, yes. on Sunday and all of that good stuff. But unfortunately, New what we don't have... Fun, what, 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 so Zaki, unfortunately, the session what, is on Monday. What, what we don't have, though, on is Monday any more time. So I, I want to thank know. you so much for, for joining me yes. and for all the work that you yes. have been doing, you and the entire committee. Yes. Congratulations. I know that the entire weekend is going to be fantastic. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be fun and it's going to be a fantastic learning time for all involved. All the best. Thank you very much and happy Emancipation Day to you. And thank you so much, Rokas, and happy Emancipation to all of you. And a special thanks to TTT for your continuous support. Of course, every time. Enjoy the rest of it. Take care. That is the Executive Director of the Emancipation Support Committee, Zakia Uzoma Wadada. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and come back with more. We're talking about resistance when we come back. Stay tuned.